Wine investments have outperformed global stock returns over the past 15 years with a 13% annualized return, but the average doesn't always tell the whole story. Just like stocks, pick the right wines and you can be floored by the returns rather than the alcoholic content. In this video, I'll reveal five wine investments with amazing returns, including one with a 4,900% return. I'll share why I'm investing in wine and how to pick the best bottles. Before we get started though, you know I've gotta send a special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. I'm partnering with VinoVest for today's video, a trading platform that opens up wine investing to everyone. Investing in wine not only offers the diversification and returns that I'll show you in this video, but it's a great way to get involved with your investments. VinoVest has recently launched a new exchange platform with no minimums and no holding periods. For beginners, you can get your investments picked for you through the platform's starter program with guaranteed authenticated wines in excellent conditions. Higher level plans include lower fees, access to rare wines, and a portfolio review with an expert. Expert sommeliers choose the wines to highlight on the platform for their investment value and because of its size, VinoVest is able to get access and discounts to fine wines that only the 1% can get. All your wine is stored in completely insured wine cellars to keep it in perfect condition. You can sell your wine at any time and even have it sent directly to you to enjoy. Our first wine isn't necessarily the highest return, but has the distinction as the world's most expensive. But maybe a disclaimer first. I'm just learning about these wines myself, so any of you budding sommeliers find a mistake here in these wines or in this video, let me know in the comments below. Also, there's gonna be a lot of foreign names in this list that I will butcher horribly, so forewarned is forearmed. The 2004 vintage Block 42 of the Barossa Valley in Australia is the rarest of the rare. The winemaker has only released a handful of vintages since 1953, and that year commissioned glass artist Nick Mount to create 12 ampules for a limited edition release. The original price per ampule and wooden cabinet, $119,693, and now, as high as $154,000 each. Next here, the only wine from the USA to make the list, a 1997 Cabernet Sauvignon from the Napa Valley, which wine expert Robert Parker gave a perfect 100 and noted it represents the essence of cassis liqueur and sweet fruits. Just over 500 cases are produced from each vintage of this wine, giving it instant rarity. Originally at $1,800 a barrel and now worth over $4,100 each. We still got three more of the best performing wines to highlight, but should wine even be a part of your portfolio? And not only has the price of fine wines beaten stocks with an annualized 13% over the last 20 years, but you get so much more than just that price return. From learning about the different regions where wine is grown, even down to the best years for each, this goes way beyond an investment return. Now, of course, the downside to wine investing, similar to a lot of other alternative investments, is the costs are gonna be higher than those other types of investments, like stocks and bonds. While an investment in a bottle of wine might cost less than 20 bucks each, you're gonna to need to store it in the right range of temperatures and at the right level of humidity. You'll also need to insure your wine investments against damage or theft. And it's really why that annual fee of two and a quarter percent to as high as 2.85% on VinoVest doesn't seem as high as you might think at first. When you consider it's gonna store and insure your wine professionally, beyond that storage and insurance, you're gonna get expert pricing as well as other benefits like a portfolio review and those access to rare wines. Third on our countdown is from the Piedmont region in the Italian Alps, famous for its Barolo and Barbaresco wines. Italian wine history dates as far back as 800 BC and is now made up of 350 distinct varieties of grapes. Each vintage of the Nebbiolo wines from Giacomo Carterno produces less than 600 cases and is reserved in barrels for seven years. Original price of this was just $232 a bottle, an investment that would now be worth $1,200 for a 420% return. And the top two spots on our list are from the Burgundy and Champagne regions in France, where arguably the best wines in the world are produced. From one of the most recognized brands in wine, the Domaine de la Romanie created a 1972 vintage of just 450 cases. One bottle sold in the year 2000 for $1,260 and recently for 11,284 for a return of almost 800%. But the vintage is approaching its maturity, so this one might be close to topping out. We're coming up on the top performing wine investment, but I wanted to also share four key factors to picking your wine investments, four things to watch for to buy the best bottle. First is the producers of the wine. There are just some vintners recognized as producing the best wines, like Chateau Cheval Blanc and Chateau Angelus with its history stretching all the way back to 1782. 
Now, if you're investing by yourself and taking possession, you also wanna make sure you get proof of authenticity, not just to prove it to yourself, but also if you sell the bottle later. Also, get to know the different regions for wine. And not only is this immersion learning one of the benefits to wine investing, but, but can also improve your returns. It's just a fact that some regions like the Bordeaux in France are known for the best returns in the market. Finally, you'll also wanna know which years are considered the best for each region and the vintners. Besides environmental events that can make a particularly good year for the region, the age of a bottle is gonna be important for how long you hold before you resell it. And topping our list is a wine of legend. Few wines are as mythic as the 1907 Heidsieck, a sparkling wine from the Champagne region. Legend goes, 3,000 bottles were being smuggled to Russia during World War I aboard a Swedish schooner, Jean Copin. The schooner was intercepted by Germans in the Baltic Sea. The ship was sunk and the bottles were lost forever. That is, until 1997 when a Swedish team salvaged the wine from the wreck, finding the Champagne in perfect condition. It's a part of wine history, but it does come at a price. The original auction in 1998 saw prices of just $83 a bottle, now worth over $4,170 each for a return of 4,900% on the investment. Click on the video to the right for five alternative investments to protect and grow your portfolio. Five investments outside of stocks for safety in a market crash. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.